Hello, professionalism and ethics class and Dr. Mikura. My name is Anna Lee Boyd. I live in Seymour, Indiana. I am a K through 12 Christian school administrator and we do not have a dedicated school counselor at our school. And so I am currently fulfilling that role. And so the area of counseling that I work in is with children. When working with children, the question arises, who is the client? Is the child the client or is the parent the client? And my belief is that the child is the client as they are the one that is in my office talking to me, but that the parents do have applicable rights. It's critical that during the intake or just the very first session that I have with the child, that I explain to them their confidentiality rights and also my role as a mandated reporter. And so my statement to them sounds like this. Everything you say to me in our session stays in this room. However, if you tell me that you are planning to hurt yourself or anyone else, or if you tell me that you've been abused in any way, I will have to report that to someone. Do you understand this? And hopefully they do at that point. And should they, I have determined that should they um, tell me something that is reportable during the course of our conversation and during our counseling, or even something that I feel like the parents need to know, um, and, and I guess that, that would be left to my discretion, but I, I could definitely foresee situations where the parents need to know what's being said here then I would let the child know that, that we are going to have to speak to their parents, but I would give them the option if they wanted to tell their parents with me there to support them, or if they wanted me to be the one to tell their parents and make that part of the conversation that we have. Um, I have provided my consent document with this video. Um, and my consent document would be for the parents to sign since I would be dealing with minor children. Um, a couple of areas of concern. The first area of concern that I had going into this class was just the question of breach of confidentiality. Um, my greatest fear has been that a child would confide sexual or physical abuse to me and then beg me not to say anything to anybody. And I would be stuck then in a very problematic situation. So I am relieved by the addition of the ethical statement and informed consent piece, because this alleviates a lot of stress and worry for me. Um, I'm going to let them know at the very beginning what will have to be reported and everything else will stay in this room. And that just takes a load off of my shoulders. And now I'm not going to sit there in fear of the next statement that's going to come out of their mouth. Um, the other area of stress or concern that I had coming into this class was just about the fear of having to report um, a church member or even somebody in our community. A lot of the parents in our school are church members, um, but then there's quite a few that aren't. There's, there's a lot of parents in our school that are um, well-known business people in our community. Um, just people who have very solid reputations in our community. And I have had a fear of what do I do if I have to report something? And, and what are the repercussions of our church? What, you know, what would happen? But I feel very secure after this class, knowing that I am absolutely doing the right thing by reporting abuse, no matter what. And it just doesn't matter who they are. Um, it, it, it's the right, it's what has to happen. And it's the ethical thing to do. And I have to choose what is ethical over what, you know, what seems like it might hurt somebody in that moment. I have to be more concerned about the child and their welfare than I am about somebody's reputation in the community. And and that is a really tough place to be in. And I pray very much that I'm never in that situation, but I feel a lot more secure about it now that I, I know what I will do and I will do it without hesitation. 
Um, as far as record keeping goes, what I do is whenever the child comes into my office, I do pull up my voice memo app on my phone and I do record just, just the uh, verbal, I, not, not video, but just a um, audio, audio recording of the session. And the reason I do this is because I know that sitting and taking notes while a child is talking is very intimidating for a child. They, they really need you to give them their undivided attention in those moments. Um, and I feel like it would just cause them to shut down very quickly if they knew I was writing something down. So I choose to do an audio recording. And then after the session is over, go back and write down notes from that and then delete the audio recording. So that audio recording is not, nobody else is going to hear it. Um, that is not something I would ever play for a parent. Um, that's not something that would ever be used in any way against the child or for anybody else to hear. It's just simply so that I can have thorough notes and, and be able to reflect on that. But I can't take notes in that moment. And I feel like if I don't record it, I'm going to forget something that they said, which might be critical later down the road. So hopefully that's the ethical thing to do, but that is what I have done. And um, unless I'm told otherwise, it's what I will continue to do. Um, my pastor is my immediate supervisor, uh, Pastor Larry Arrowood. Um, he, I feel like he is extremely qualified to be my supervisor um, he actually started our school many, many years ago. He has pastored for 40 years and he also has a degree in pastoring in a degree in counseling, <laughs> um, has a degree in pastoring too, but he does have a degree in counseling and he has had a lot of counseling experience, um, just over 40 years. He was in ministry even before he pastored. He was an assistant pastor. He helped start Indiana Bible College when it was in Seymour, Indiana. He did start our Christian school, Sandy Creek Christian Academy. So he's had a lot of education experience and a lot of counseling experience. And I would also say of him, I've worked with him for 23 years. He is the most ethical person that I know. And so I have full trust in him. Hopefully that answers all of the questions that we had. Thank you so much for your time. God bless.